This is KNEV.TV weather from the KNEV Storm Center, your trusted source for weather. Well, we're looking for skies across the area that are going to be partly to mostly cloudy. A couple of isolated to scattered thunderstorms around early this evening. Those will move out and uh, clear off as we go into tomorrow. Look for a few strong storms around tonight. Then we're going to turn warmer and see more storms around on Sunday with warm to hot conditions coming for most of next week. Yesterday we hit 93 after a morning low of 60, picked up some decent moisture in portions of the area. 5,700 at Scotts Bluff. That's the most precip, uh, more precip than we had the whole rest of the month of June. Still into June, an inch 63 short, and we're three inches short as we enter the new month. Well, Right off the top, what's everybody want to know? What's our 4th of July forecast looking like for the weekend? Well, we'll be in the 90s all three days. Maybe best chance of showers and storms probably going to be on Sunday. Can't rule out a shower or storm any one particular day. Tonight, also a chance of some strong to severe thunderstorms. We have severe thunderstorm watches up until 10 for most of the region into portions of South Dakota. Better severe weather threat off to the north into the Dakotas, though. 85 right now in Scott's Bluff, 80s all across the region. A little cooler in some of the uh, rain-cooled areas. It's 76 back up around Lusk, 75 in Cheyenne. Winds are out of the southeast, 15, 20, 25 miles an hour, gusting at times over 30, especially around some of those showers and thunderstorms. Severe weather threat tonight is, again, in northern portions of the region. Again, that is where I think the best threat of severe weather is going to be. As we look further to into tomorrow, that severe weather threat continues kind of in the same area of the Dakotas. And then a marginal risk of severe storms Sunday backs into the region here. So future cast for tonight, we push out any of those showers and storms this evening. And uh, could see some again overnight tonight, but mostly thunderstorms I think going to be early on. And we're going to see low temperatures fall down into the 50s and 60s here across the region. Now tomorrow we start the day with quite a bit of sun. We're not going to have as many thunderstorms tomorrow. The coverage not as great today as it was yesterday, and it'll be even less tomorrow. But a few isolated late day showers and storms are going to move across the region tomorrow afternoon and evening again. And we're going to be dealing with the warm temperatures tomorrow as we get back into the 90s, low to mid 90s for most of us. A few areas flirting with the upper 80s to near 90. Precip-wise, it looks like if you get under some of those heavier storms, you could see uh, some moisture. This particular system throwing out uh, right now two inches plus in the Alliance and Gordon areas. Again, don't focus on one specific area. Just know that rain totals are going to vary. And if you get under some of those heavier showers, there's a decent amount of moisture to be had. Thunderstorms, some strong, mainly early. Can't rule out some later. 60 for a low tonight. Tomorrow, mostly sunny, just a stray late-day thunderstorm. And in the low 90s, Better chance of storms, I think, Sunday in the uh, upper 90s. Memorial Day, or th sorry, the 4th of July on Monday will be in the 90s as well. And right through all of next week into the 90s. Looks like next weekend we may even get warmer than that into the low 100s.